Films have traditionally been used to tell stories of countries and its people, but a film industry does not exist in South Sudan, a country that gained independence only four years ago. However, a small group of young people hope not only to start but to grow a film industry with help of international filmmakers spearheading the initiative. Simon Bingo, who spent more than 15 years of his life as a refugee in Kenya's Kakuma camp, he has produced a number of films about living in a refugee camp and now wants to use films to share his life experiences, including witnessing the birth of his new country. I think I don't want to look into the camp issue alone. I want to share also the stories about our own people now in South Sudan. So we started producing films. We had pro produced films about a couple of them. Bingo hopes to produce films with international standards. His group has been fortunate to get help from two international filmmaking companies called Barefoot and what took you so long. They are undertaking training in all aspects of filmmaking. This is one attempt to show different stories from the grassroots through fiction, through documentary. The films that are being produced in this workshop really matter and really have a message and have a use and have, they're not just um, like soapies that are just entertainment. They're really addressing issues in the community. The challenges in South Sudan are many, and they are real. Lack of funds to support youth initiative with difficulties of filming in highly militarized capital Juba discourages the growth of film. The 51 South Sudanese filmmakers say they want to change the way the world looks at their country to acknowledge the problems of war and famine, but it also highlights other interesting cultural stories with support from United States aid and internews. The group has been able to secure film equipment and also host the filmmakers in the country. The return of peace in the country has provided opportunities for many to focus on what they can do best. For those who want to develop the film industry, the journey has started as many young people are now producing their films in preparation for Juba Film Festival planned for July this year. Patrick Oyet, CCTV, Juba, South Sudan.